subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Major Hurricane Delta is about to make landfall on the Yucatan Peninsula, currently a Category 3 with winds of 115 miles per hour and a pressure around 972 millibars. Currently at 20.6 degrees north, 86.5 degrees west, puts it just off Cozumel. So that, they're the current stats right now, moving northwest at 17 miles per hour, a CDPS stage 4. This is a situation that could have been a lot worse, uh, still will be a bad situation for the Yucatan and beyond. So the CDPS looks at landfall in Puerto Morelos this morning, most likely in the next uh, 3 to 6 hours. Um, stage 4 on the CDPS, wind speed is going to be a big issue, along with an increasing wind field on the southwestern side. Well here it is right now and there is that wind field so tropical storm conditions will be felt all along the, uh, the Yucatan coast there from Cancun down to Tulum and possibly beyond um, along with its position there as of 5 a.m. central time. Uh, 13 miles from Cozumel, 29 from Puerto Morelos, 34 from Playa del Carmen, 44 from Cancun and 682 from New Orleans. Hurricane warning from Tulum to Zilan, including Cozumel and tropical storm warning, uh, still for part of Cuba actually, um, as well as the Yucatan Peninsula. So these are what the intensities are saying right now, and a lot of agreement from satellites and recon that it may be a little bit weaker than what is currently being announced, but still um, it's going to be a a very powerful storm when it moves through with winds near 115 miles per hour. Gusts will be higher. This is the forecast track over the next five days. Uh, National Hurricane Center still think that this storm will have a secondary Category 4 peak in the Gulf of Mexico and then it could make landfall as a major hurricane in Louisiana. And again, not too far from where Laura made landfall earlier this year as well, moving inland afterwards and then off towards the northeast. So this is the uh, GFS model, you can see the storm's influence there, this is the uh, precipitable water uh, moving inland there eventually in the United States and as we mentioned on last night's live stream, uh, the storm will probably lose momentum quite quickly when it moves inland. Um, and when it nears the coast of Louisiana. Uh, in terms of rainfall, we're not looking at anything massive. We are talking maybe five inches along the Yucatan and maybe a little bit higher for parts of Louisiana, maybe up towards 10 inches perhaps. Um, but numbers still sketchy at the moment, that could change. Sea surface temperatures ahead of the storm, very warm here right now, 29 degrees Celsius just until landfall here and then when it enters the Gulf, still 28 to 29 degrees, it will drop to around 26 just before landfall. The GFS model, there's the intensification once again and the storm increases in size quite dramatically there and then moves inland. The greens there, that's tropical storm conditions, so you saw New Orleans was blanketed in green there and pretty much the whole state of Louisiana could get tropical storm conditions, even spreading into far eastern Texas and neighboring states to the east too. Uh, these are what the models are saying, uh, looks like it's been... Uh, stopped in its tracks in terms of intensification. Models have a, quite a plunge and then another rise in intensity. Wind shear has risen to higher than expected levels. That's part of the reason for the storm's slight weakening. It will drop again by the looks of things. Sea surface temperatures won't be an issue for a while. Relative humidity is looking good. Track consensus as well is looking fairly good here too uh, for central Louisiana landfall in around three or four days. Three days I should say. So there is the storm right now on the satellite imagery, this is the infrared and you'll see more on the enhanced infrared how the storm's been looking, massive cloud tops, um, colours that you've not seen before on the sandwich imagery in the Atlantic because these are temperatures up to minus 97 degrees Celsius uh, above the storm but yet usually it's a sign of intensification but in this case the storm hasn't taken advantage um, and looks like it's going to weaken to a category 2 once it moves inland. So you can join us live on our 24-7 automated hurricane tracker. Just search youtube.com forward slash 413 slash live.